we're constantly watching things that amazes us and those things are, are making history you should go make the history instead of watching peace and welcome to the art for artists podcast where we explore the experience of artists one artist at a time i'm your host dios mac and today i'm gonna get into my little bag real quick today we have an artist an actor a musician these days, just, nigga just doesn't want to do anything by himself. He <laughs> just want to do everything. A uh, photographer, what have you. This man I met hooping on 23rd Street because in the reality of things, actors don't ever do one thing in their life. They always got to do some other thing and most likely very well to keep in shape and live their life. So we met on a basketball court. I'm doing deal smack things. I'm playing a little basketball, shooting a little hoop. I'm dunking a little bit. You know what I do. Mm, and right. this dude has just got the greatest energy, the energy, the vibe. Some people play basketball to prove something and be angry. Other people just play to enjoy life. And this is a person that I enjoyed hooping with at the very start. And that's a rare thing because a lot of niggas is just ugh. <laughs> nasty energy. Ugh. So we hooping, we having a good time. And the jokes start to flow. I like to make jokes. I like to be a fool when I, whenever I can and just enjoy life. But this person just had that extra element. You know when you meet a comedian the first time and you recognize that comedy is actually like a thing? Like you, you got to have timing. You got to have facial expressions. You got to have the right intonation to your voice. Everything about him felt so scripted. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Am I on, am I, I'm getting punked? I'm not getting punked. We tap in, we tap in further, find out he's an, uh, an artist, find out he's an actor, really had this insane energy about him that I'm like, this nigga is about to make it, but I don't know how to really say what, it, what the role is going to be, where he's going to end up. Fast forward, I'm in LA, living my life with my shorty, and I see him scroll up down my timeline on Facebook in a Friendlies commercial, and it's it's, it's amazing. It's like one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. And it's see, there's certain things you see where someone gets casted and it seems like that role was made for them. This nigga, every role seems like that. <laughs> and I, I just immense respect for his career, immense Thank respect you. for the Thank fact you. that we have actors and black actors that are continuing their path and making sure that they do not leave the journey until they are all done with it. And proud to call this man my friend. This is Larice King. Appreciate it. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you so much, man. Happy to have you. Thank you. Thank you um, how you doing? How you feeling? Well, I mean, it, you speak highly by anyone like that. They're going to feel amazing, right? As you um, As you um, thank you, man. Um, same. Like I, I don't, I don't want all the praise. I gotta, I gotta give you some too, bro. Um, much love on your career. Much love on what you're doing. Straight peace, man. Just, just like energy. Just, just felt. You know, you know when you ain't like. Seen somebody in a long time like that cousin. That's a fact. And then you you come together and it's still it's still like the same like same fam- rapport. Yeah, yeah. It's it's that it's that same energy. So that's a fact. Yeah, thank you. I'm I'm happy to be here when you, when you told me about it. Mm-hmm. I was ready to go that day, but I had to run some errands. No. Nah. But uh, yeah, man. I'm thank you, thank you so much for allowing me to. to you come ever watch Curb Your Enthusiasm? No, I keep hearing about it, but I, I, you should yeah. watch it. It's yeah. a, a necessary watch for anybody that's bald. Okay, uh, because we're a brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> we're a brotherhood. I feel like, yeah, I feel like we we're sick. a brotherhood. Like, we have to be together. Yeah, yeah, and like, the world is against us. Man. Yeah, yeah. This is it, we're a minority. It's, it's a certain. I'm be honest with you. I feel like it's like a certain Wi-Fi that just. You know what I'm saying? Only <laughs> we can tap into it. You know what I'm saying? We got the code every time you see each other. It's like because <laughs> you know you you see a black man walk across the street. Any black man, you just yeah. get that nah. nah I, yeah, like, yep. Oh, nigga. <laughs> yeah, straight up. It's, it's you going to do it with some pride. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, like, thanks for taking this journey with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And you know the journey. You kind of, you know what I'm saying? You, when you look into the eyes, you can see the journey a little bit. I see, I see like, you man, Like, okay, all right, yeah, <laughs> yep. And the first time, the first, real quick, when the, when the first time you started, you shaved your head bald? Shit. Damn, like... It's about to be like eight, nine years now. Mm. And it wasn't necessary at that time. It was a modeling thing. Like, okay, I was like, okay. fuck it, I'm going to do it. And okay. like, it was a suggestion from an agent. So okay. I did it, and it helped with bookings. But then, like, because I just recently had dreads, and I, I, I enjoyed it, but 
It's just, bro, is that just that one moment where the hairline just not doing it for you? Mm. Like, okay, nigga, okay. Where are you going? But it, but it, it, it look good for you though. A lot of people, a lot of people can't do it. Yeah. A lot of people, I understand. Like, I understand. Like, some people keep. I be sleeping, off. seeing those people that still want to keep it. You know what I'm saying? But it, they gotta let it go. But I understand why you don't want to let it mm-hmm. go. Just it, it takes a certain head shape, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's just bean peanut you, head. You gotta have, you know what I'm saying? One like one of these or one of these is different oh. forms. It's different formalities of baldness. You know what I'm saying? Like it's <laughs> I'm stretching it, but this is good. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's a topic somebody need to talk about. But um the formalities of baldness <laughs> is like, crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, but, um, so I'm gonna get you I'm gonna get you started on this question. <laughs> Um, Tell us a little bit about your background and how you got into acting and comedy and art in itself. Oh, man. Um, all right. So when I was when I was younger, uh, like middle school, grade school, stuff like that, like it was these people that would come to the schools and um, Apple Farms, Apple Farms. And it was this one old guy and it was this one um it was, it was, he had a certain group of people with him that came every year. Right, right. And um, I remember telling my mom, telling my mom, he's like, hey, keep him in this. He's going to take care of you. I swear to God. Me and my mom still talk about the conversation. I'm dead serious. Um, and um, we didn't really know. Um, my right, mom didn't really, yeah, like, like we didn't press that. That's yeah, crazy. exactly. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, sure enough, like every time they came to the school, I would be like the star of the show. Mm. And um, when after that shit was over, high school, whatever, I didn't really look at much into it, never thought about it. But I would always see, watch movies and like, oh, man, I watch Remember the Titans. Man, I want to play football. Damn, man. <laughs> right, like, right. I want to play football. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then you, it's just imagination goes crazy. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, life, life starts life. And, and um, I got back into it. I was going to college to to be a cop, and I was working overnight at at a right age, at a right age, and um, I was an asset protection agent. I was a security. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> like an asset protection agent. Like, yeah, like I'm still holding that top shit of, up. Yeah, top of the top line, of, type flight of the world, <laughs> man. <laughs> so I make that shit sound mad good and shit. Asset protection. <laughs> Take care of it. But uh, no. Um, uh yeah uh so i would literally get off at seven seven a.m and go to work excuse me go to college at like eight my first class was at eight Hmm. and um uh what was it uh uh criminal justice was my first was my first class right bro i would be taking like these stay weight pills (laughs) and i'll literally just be like i would be asking all the questions on the financial aspect and one day he pulled me to the side he was like is this Name was Professor Addison. Um, uh, he was like, "Yo, fast forward in the conversation." He's like, "Yo, Mr. King, you ain't really serious about this shit. I could tell mm. you two fo- focus on a, on like retirement and X, Y, and Z." Right, was, these, right, I'm asking yeah. these type of questions yeah. during the fucking because he would tell his stories. Then my ADHD would pop in and <laughs> take over the conversation. It's like, yeah, I got him there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh the, the class would start asking questions with my shit like <laughs> so it was kind of like yo like you got a great energy but it, this is yeah, yeah like it's my just, class like, yeah this is not for yeah. you know what i'm saying he's like he's like yo what would you do for free i'm like um at the time i'm like nothing bro what you talking about right right, like, right. um i'm not doing nothing <laughs> he said well will you figure that out that's when you want to know what you want to do. So I was like, you know, it took me a few years and uh, it took me like a year and a half, a year and a half. And then I moved to New York. Did not, didn't know anybody in acting, nothing. I was literally just, I just threw myself out there. Right. Threw myself out there. Everyone back home was like, yo, where the fuck you going? Right. <laughs> I'm like, I got to do this, bro. <laughs> I got to go. I don't know. I was like, I was out. I was out. And, um, Oh, and to clarify, where is back home? Uh, South Jersey. South, Jer- South Jersey, small town, um, like Cumberland County. Uh, Isaiah Pacheco, uh, he played for the Kansas City Chiefs. 
I don't watch football. Oh, uh, okay. Like, all right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, but it, it, those are people from my home that that made it. So it was like it's like a big deal. It's like oh, oh okay. shit. Yeah. Um, Mike Trout. Um, that guy plays baseball. Um, yeah. But it's it's when I say it's a small town, it's really right, right, right. small town shit. So um, to come out of there is is is, is nuts. But uh, uh, yeah, bro. I just started networking with people and. I just kind of did the groundwork. I met. I went through the fuck shit of, like, I don't, I don't know if you curse like that on this podcast. Nah, I'm sorry. Work, um, but yeah, I met a lot of fuck people. I met a lot of people that, I, and even those people shaped my career. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they shape because yeah, yeah. you get to see bullshit before it happens. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? If you can see it on that scale, like, yo, call it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. Mm. I, I saw I saw shit like this before. So I, I kind of I'm I'm that type of person. Um, but uh, yeah, bro, just doing the groundwork. Um, auditioning, a whole lot of no's. <laughs> you gonna hear yeah. a whole lot of no's. I, I've been hearing rejection all my life, so um, yeah, I just did that shit. Just, just going through, going through the adversity, just, and then the experiences of just, just acting. Period. Just now, like as a father, you know, what I'm saying? as a husband, as a, all of these things compiled into one is like, oh shit, like man, like you're learning from it, and you don't know where you're going. Yeah. But you know you gotta go somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So it's like I'm, I'm. I feel like I'm an autopilot. <laughs> right, right, right. I feel right. like I'm, like you ever drove somewhere? Like damn, how the hell? I, I know I drove here, but damn, I don't remember I don't driving remember home. Doing it. Yeah, sheesh. That's that's really how I feel right now. I'm like, man, like I don't know where the fuck I'm going, but I'm this, just I'm just going. It's a, I'm just going. I think there's a. I think you did a great job with that question, but I think it's a it's a it's a very funny moment where you realize like you're going down this journey and especially as an artist, I feel like when you're really dedicated to your craft or dedicated to what you're doing, mm -hmm. you're not necessarily looking for this end. You know what I mean? Like you're not yeah. looking for this check that's gonna make you stop or this check. Yeah. It's really about like this actual like Okay, at first it's a moment where you're like, I just want to see if I can do this shit. Then it starts happening. It's like, holy shit, I shit, can do this I just shit. Did it. Yeah. And then from there, it was like, there's a moment where it's like, okay, it may be a slowdown. It may be a moment where you know you're not booking as much, but you realize there is no going back to regular life now. Like once you realize I can live my visions. You're not gonna go back to living someone else's vision. It, it's like it's literally like the Matrix. It's like once you take the right, once right. you take that pill, it's like you want to see how far the rabbit hole goes. And it's like sometimes I'll be like, I'll be I'll be in a fucking phase where I still feel like I'm in that white that white mode. Yeah, and yeah. I'm watching TV like no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, but. I already didn't took the pill, so yeah. you can't go back. Yeah, you like, can't. You can't. You can't go it. back to shit. So it's like, it's like, fuck. I'm like, I gotta keep going, and you gotta deal with the shit that comes with it on the way. I'm like, right, right, right. And I'm like, all right, all right, I, okay, I guess. Like, mm. but I'm, a, I'm gonna keep fighting. I'm gonna keep mm -hmm. fighting, and that's, that's what it is. It's just. That's the difference between me and I like, guess the next person. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or like, the person that just stopped. Or, yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm gonna just keep fighting no matter. And I didn't see some shit. I didn't see so much shit. I'm like, fuck. Like, um, and that's just through my own experiences. So I'm just like, all right. I remember, you know, like you said, at one point I didn't if someone would have told me this, like, yo, you're gonna be this person, because Bro, I didn't. I didn't know who I was growing up. I, I mean, mm. nobody does. Nobody, but, nobody does. Yeah, but facts. like, I, I. But I knew. Um, I was. I was different. I was mm. like not. Not trying to like. Not yeah. Not not, not on a big up. Like, like, yeah, yeah. like, like yo, something about me. I, I. The way I look at this shit is not the way everybody else look at this shit. Mm. I'm weird. I'm mm. this. Like you know mm. what I'm saying? It's like all right. But it was certain people that really like you know what I'm saying? Like yo, nigga. No, don't yeah, do that shit. Yeah, yeah. No. and do it's you? all, bro. Shout outs to those people. Shout outs to those people. <laughs> shout outs to those people. It's always those. I always put it in these words, right? A lot of the life of an artist is just trying to be seen, and you get blessed sometimes with people that can see you early, like people that is not is not. Oh, I got a hit. Like for me with music, it's not that I have a hit record already. You could just see it already yeah. or hear it, obviously in that regard. But it's like, no, I can I can see you. Whatever you're doing, please don't stop. Like. 
please keep going. Like, and and that those people never. I don't think anybody could ever put into words how important those people are to an artist because at any given moment that you see an artist, that motherfucker is on the edge of giving it up and <laughs> the greatest success of their life. And that's at any given moment. I don't care how big they are. Everybody keeps contemplating. It's like, bro. It's like at the end of the day, an artist's life is like literally walking the opposite direction of the crowd. Everybody yeah. else is walking this and one way, doing it into the same. You like, damn, should I be going this way? Right? Like, like are they like, right? Like, but it's fuck. like they're not happy. They're just going that direction, you know. So, and I think that's like, I think those beautiful people that walk into your life and tell you just the right thing that you needed to hear is gonna. It's they're so important. And I, I, I have a I few do of them shit. in my life. You know, I, 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 love I do that shit for other people. Yes, I'm dead ass. I'm yeah. dead ass serious because yeah. like, I'm dead ass like I'm always asking somebody, like, hey, how you doing? Mm-hmm. Like, nah, mm-hmm. they'll give me like the, the regular answer. I'm like, ah, I'm like, how you feeling? Like, how, real, like how, real. really, how you feeling? And it's just, they, you never fucking know. You never fucking know. And I'm like, damn, bro, like, like that, how you doing? That, hey, how you, like, you being seen, sometimes it's just like those little small gestures can make a huge difference huge for people. Difference. Like, huge difference. you never fucking know. Like, you, Mm. I'm going to drop a bar and I'm going to say it before I say it. You could be the person that helps somebody continue today. Mm. That's like a public service announcement. You could be the person that makes somebody continue today. It's just one positive word and it don't cost you shit. We be trying to do so many extravagant things, but sometimes the most beautiful thing you could do is just, hey, how you doing? Hey, you, you should keep going with that. I know you love it. You should continue. Like, that shit is fuel. I swear to God. It's let let's continue because you but this is a perfect segue yeah. to the next question. Perfect. What struggles did you find along your journey that may have kept you from making your art? Um me. Me. Mm. Um I, sometimes I'm in my I'm in my own way. Even now, even with all the success that I have, um I, I never feel like it's enough. Because you only as good as your last work. Um, and then those commercials, and it's crazy because it has been consecutive as fuck, like hitting primetime commercials. Yeah. Um, for the last few years. I can't tell you, I don't, I don't, I don't know the formula. I'm just doing it. Yeah. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, but sometimes I, I'll sometimes they're I'm, excellent, by the way. I just thank you. I gotta thank give you your flowers because every commercial is so you, fucking bro. good. Right. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. It, it, but it, like to me, like in my head, I'm, I'm already, I'm already done with it. And I know that sounds fucked up, hmm. but I'm just. It's like, it's like a, it's like you're a, you're a hoe for the project. Mm. Like mm. you know what I'm saying? You just you. I, I and I'm. Not, I don't mean to make it sound like this, but you. It's understood. Yeah, it's understood. You. you do your thing and it's like, all right, hey, I'm gonna see you later. Yeah, if or it, never, it, 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 never, or never, <laughs> or, or never. never. Yeah, like you, unless you want to come back with a deal with another deal. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? You want to extend this? Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I like you it. a lady for the night. Yeah, but if we yeah, want you again. Yeah, oh, hey, we hey, might exchange. Yeah. Yo, I remember you. <laughs> I remember you. <laughs> no, I was like, but <laughs> but that's only you know only if you if you make that make that that right um, right and and. Not for nothing, I'm always trying to like leave a leave an everlasting impression, and like it's just like damn, bro. Like whether it's like a laugh, whether it's like damn, like okay, all right. Mm-hmm. Like I like the way this dude made these choices. You know what I'm saying? I like the way they. I don't know the way he carried himself. Like like from the smallest things on set, like even the people. You know what I'm saying? The 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 dressing people. Like I really be thinking about how they feel. Like like little like I'll pack my outfit up. Put it back inside the shit. I'm mm-hmm. like, damn, because I know I can see it. I'm already sit- looking at they sweat. I'm like, damn, they sweat like love. Bro, damn, that she, is beautiful. Bro, life. like I really like mm. I really be thinking about like I I just I don't know. I That's can't how you, but but that remember I said this is pre-interview. I said you're one of those people that have the energy for the long career. But this is the aspects of you that make you possible for the long career like longevity is not extreme levels of talent although mm-hmm. you have that for sure longevity is relationships longevity is treating people like people even in a 
Yes, yeah. our call time was 6 a.m. and we're all tired as fuck. But at the end of the day, taking that time to put the clothes back on a hanger and not just here. Yeah. You know, how you feeling? Like, you are like these details crazy. are so like these are the reasons even like if I go into my career in so many aspects, not just modeling. If I go into the acting, if I go into the photography, the details of what made me get that second booking is the fact that I asked them about how they were. The fact that we got into a one even long spiel about like, shit, my, my fucking aunt died and I wasn't really close to her, but I felt it. Mm. That shit may seem insignificant when you hear the content of the words, right. but the reality that that person got the vent at work. Crazy. You, you, Crazy. Bec- you become that thing that helps them continue. Yeah. I think that's such a, like, again, it's good people that allow, good people are the fuel for their own, you know, success. And I feel like when you are genuinely good, not because you're trying to get ahead, but simply because you care about somebody else. Yeah. You know, and right. I, I think, I don't know if it was my mom, somebody said, no, I think it was my brother that said, it's better to be interested than interesting. Mm. You feel what I'm, mm. you feel what I'm saying? Mm. Like, like. It's better to be mm. invested in this person's life for the however long you yeah. are than hey, I'm Larise King and I did this commercial, that mm, commercial, commercial, that. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. Like we yeah. get that you're interesting. Like yeah. we all are at the end of the day. But right, like, right. To be a person that opens their ears and wants to really digest what, some, what, what somebody's going through, it, especially in this industry of it's image crazy. and bruds. Yo, you never, you never know what nobody's going through. No, you never no, know. And like like no. you just said that moment, like you could you could be sharing a moment with someone, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause we all go to the same place. Right, you know right. It's almost right, like right. it's almost like a church. We mm. all, you know what I'm saying? Most of us want to go to the same place with the same problems. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It might be different, you know what I'm saying? Just a slightly, but facts, facts. you that person may go along through that problem later on in life, and that person this, this person may just be coming out of it. You never know. Mm. You just never know. So I'm just like, man. Mm. I never know what the what the fuck he thinking. Yeah. He'd probably be upset, and everybody be be really really mad at him. And I'm like, man, why is he upset? Right. No one wants to ask. No one wants to, Everybody wants to keep said, that distance, yeah, like, but no one wants to ask. Like, that's, mm. And I'm like, all right, if it's none of my business, I'll stay out of it. If he, if that's the the space that person is creating, then yo, like, let him go through his shit. You gotta like, it, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Mm. And you know, I, I don't know. That's just the way I take it. Let's move to this next beautiful question because we are on fire rolling. It sounded beautiful. Great, what is your most be- what is your most prized creation and why? Um, my relationship with my kids. Wow. Um. Yeah. Uh, my family. Just period. Uh, mm. just because. It, at some point, you know, it's funny. Um, at some point in my life, I felt like something was missing. I didn't know what it was, and I was like, "Man, I used to like think like really dark thoughts." I'm like, "Man, maybe I don't need to be here." Mm. You know what I'm saying? And not that I was like, I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna kill myself." And I'm just, I'm just. These are just my thoughts. Right, I'm just right. exposing them. I'm being vulnerable. But I was like, "Man, like." Like what? What the fuck am I here for? What's my purpose? What's my? And then they showed up, mm. and I'm like, the more time you spend with them, even when they didn't know the language, you can still understand, you can still communicate. Mm. And I was like, damn, it just in the beginning of my career, <laughs> in the beginning of my career, I always, I right, so I grew up with this old looking face and shit, right? <laughs> so I've been looking thirty since I was like sixteen. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> that was one of the first <laughs> full disclosure that's one of the first things I said to him when uh, I met him <laughs> but I still remember I was like maybe this is rude but nigga yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah everybody like so like I remember like being casted as this as as a dad or something like alright the director was like alright Larice, uh listen you're going, you're going through a marriage you're going through the divorce and you're losing your kids <laughs> Damn, I never went through that shit before. He's like, but you, but you can give me a bunch <laughs> You know, like, he's assuming that I went through this shit because yeah, of how I look. So yeah. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, man, I got to find a dark, something dark to yeah. connect with to, in order for me to get this emotion out. Right, right. I'm like, um, but I never went through that shit before, but 
like not saying I'm like uh, I'm going through like a divorce now, but I'm just saying like I'm just it's just like now I understand way more. It's so much to that situation. Right. It's like it's like oh shit. Like I understand what it what it means to take your kids to school, what it means to drop them off, what it mm. means to be a parent teacher account, what it means to teach them, what it means you know what I'm saying? Wow. Like like moments knowing the all the fucking Disney Channel songs <laughs> playlist. I know every right. fucking song. Like right. that's a whole experience that man. only having you know, a kid. Yeah. So wow. I'm like so I'm like, man, so this it, it kind of adds on to who I am as a person. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It kind of really like made me like, okay, all right. When I say this, it's not like I said it before. Now it's certain attributes about me. When I say this, I have to say it with a certain type of authority. Now I have to say it with a certain type of, you know what I'm saying? It's like, mm-hmm. now I have a responsibility. Right, right, <laughs> so right. So it just, it, it builds character. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, my, I'm going to say those relationships with my kids, my family, help me build more character. Wow. So that's yeah. beautiful. Uh, honestly, like uh, one thing you touched on and just, full transparency, vulnerability, uh, taking taking your lead and walking with it. Um, I feel like that's a place that I'm currently just standing in. Like mm. a lot of the times I'm feeling this, this lethargy, this aloofness to life because I do feel like I'm like I'm at this age where I, I it's like I'm missing something I ain't never had. Like I'm sitting there missing it like it's like I walk into my crib sometimes and I'm I'm looking around. I'm looking at like even my collection of shoes. Looking at the collection of shoes doesn't mean as much when they're all from my feet. Yeah. You feel yeah, me? Like yeah. I want I would love the little ones and then to have the ones of my wife where it's a little smaller than mine. You feel yeah. me? Like, like I love that and I love sharing space. And I think I think I've just been so picky with it, you know, mm. with partners, with whoever, but I do want to take my time because I like I'm from a family that you know, a successful relationship is rare. Mm. That's a sport, and that's and I and I think I think not that not to cut you off. I'm sorry, no, uh, but I, I think the fact that you look for it, you know, in a in a very careful way, is nothing wrong with that because just like marriage is is a policy. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to figure out what policy is good for you. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, not everybody's gonna meet with you. You got Geico, you got, you know what I mean? You got to find out, okay, all right, Mm. can I do, you know, is it this, 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 what are our boundaries here? Do you accept boundaries? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you come from, what what do you come from? Right, right. And do you have a mom and dad? Do you you just have a mom? Did you just have a dad? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just now, like, you just like, all right, boom, boom, boom. Certain dots has got to be checked. Yeah. So I, I, I understand that side too. Facts. Like, it, yeah. you know what it is too? It's just that moment as well when it's like, like you get to, because again, you get to past 30, you get to 30. Mm. It's like, nigga, all right? Like, mm. I, nigga, all right? I, I know you're waiting, but nigga. I'm not, but you know, you know what though? You don't, you don't have to be on everybody else's timeline. That's the world's timeline. And, and, it, and it's downloaded into our, our right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? And I feel like now nowadays people are living longer. You're a healthy, you're a healthy person. Mm-hmm. Nigga, you offer coconut water off out the jump. <laughs> I was like, this nigga's gonna live a long time. Damn, this is good, by the way. Um, I had two of them. <laughs> um, but I, I feel like um even too, like, even if you decided to have kids at I'm just saying 40. Yeah. Think about how much you know now, you right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. To what you're gonna know then. And you're all ever you're creative. You're always growing. Facts, facts, facts. So the amount of growth like that you can teach, you mm, know what I'm saying? Yeah. As opposed to who you are now, like you know what I'm saying. Shit. So or I would who be looking, I was. Yeah, oh my like, god! You're like, just a. So the way I see it is the time. Your time right now, and even especially for a man, is like is like equity. Your thoughts, all those, everything wow. that you just like, you know what I'm saying. So by the time you give it to your kids, like, hey, look. I didn't been through this. I didn't live four decades. So I didn't seen this, 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 this. I can tell you what this this is gonna be. I can tell you what this is gonna be. I can tell you what this is not gonna be. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So like it, that was easily yeah. one of the best responses I've ever like, because I'm not gonna front, I'm not one of those people that's like not transparent because mm-hmm. I'm always by myself and always yeah. in my thoughts. So like I'm quick to be transparent. It's like, hey nigga, this is what I'm going through. Yeah. And I'm quick to say it, but like I offer that outlook so mm-hmm. much and you know. 
people always, you know, oh, Mac, you're going to be fine. Like, you're just mm. being doing it. Right. But that was a very, like, that that, that response had so much to give. I appreciate, mm. I appreciate mm. it, bro. What do you see for you and your art if you could paint your future? Um... I don't. It, I feel like the things that I create it is so unorthodox. It just it just shows up. It's just like moments that if you're there, you can only see. Mm. Um, so I, I I don't know. Um, I mean, I I feel like I just want to say like, oh yeah, I want a career like Eddie Murphy. Mm. Right, right, right. Because I love being funny. I love becoming other people. But then I love rhyming and making people laugh that way. You know mm. what I'm saying? Um, like music is just something I just kind of like fell into, um, just having fun one day and it just, you know, it was like, oh shit, this is, I can do this shit. Mm. Like I'm getting approvals from damn. rap gods. Yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. I'm like, damn, okay. Like multiple, mm. you know? So I'm like, oh shit, this is a thing too. But <sighs> man, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it, Whatever comes from it, honestly, mm. yeah, I, I can't. What I want from it, and what's going to happen is, You're right? Yeah, wow. That honestly, perfect answer. I, 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 I wouldn't. I, I love the fact that there's two aspects I got to touch on. I love the fact that you, uh, when when posed with the question, you took a moment and really contemplated. Right, mm. that's something that like I'm, I'm always just appreciative. Of and then the second thing is like it's very interesting when you have, I I think I'm experiencing that as well, and sometimes it's very fucking confusing. But like realizing you can find success in things that you like, you could be beating a dead horse, not a dead horse, it's not dead, but like right. especially with acting, like you can book so many things, be in so many things that other people would be like, bro, you did it, go get a job now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah. like but it's like <laughs> then the next iteration of you comes about, comes about like I would have never told myself as a younger person like yeah you're going to be booked on Saturdays throughout the summer shooting people's proposals like shooting people making a life changing decision you're getting Crazy. those shots for them and, and you're taking you, shots for their families like nigga and then oh. those moments live forever those moments those are moments in time that you don't get back you don't get those same moments at the same time the sun ain't in the same spot the clouds ain't in the right. same like those are things that i think about i'm like bro you're a part of people's life people's families forever and and what, my and it's funny like, that, there's something about that that you just said right that it reminds me of something my ex used to say like when you plant a tree you're not looking to experience the shade Right. And I think that like I, I I have such a I have such a difficult time with that as an artist because I want like I love the art that I create and it affects me so deeply that I want to experience it with other people. So mm -hmm. that like I'll be wanting the fan base for that. And mm -hmm. I like I'm grateful for the one right, I have, right. but that's what I'll be wanting. Mm -hmm. It's like that experience is like I just want to share this stuff with you. But then I realize the other art that I do that I may not put that much energy into because mm. it's like it comes naturally to me or I right. understand it because of the life I've had. It's like these things are your like literal like these are your fossilized beautiful moments that mean so much to the people that you may never even experience how deeply these things. Some of these images I've shot could possibly be blown up in somebody's crib and live there for the rest of their life. Their kids, their grandkids understand, understand oh, this is where grandpa, grandpa, grandma became one. Like, and it's an image I shy. My name's not on it. It's not yeah. anywhere on it, but it's something but I gave to somebody, you know? So um, I, found, I found what you said. So I, like, and the whole reason why I created the podcast is like, I found what you said to be great company to my, to my experience. Because like a lot of the times, I feel psycho because it's like, okay, like I do this one thing and then it's not that I shouldn't do like the next thing comes up and it, and it pays me the rate that I asked for. Yeah. I'm not going to not do it. Right. Right. I'm not going to not shoot this shot. And then again, I'm not going to not be a part of this beautiful ass moment. Like right. I'm a sensitive nigga. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm yeah, watching when the, you are, when it's about your shit, you listen, bro, I, you have watching no, these people. Oh yeah. yeah but I love you for the rest of my life. I was like, this is, Fucking beautiful, like, yeah, 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 like this bro. is a beautiful ass movie. I'm yeah. shooting it through the through the 
uh, they always have me in the botanical gardens. I'm shooting through a bunch oh, of man. blooming flowers. It's like, it's like, bro, I couldn't paint a better picture, bro. Like I could, I could book the most beautiful model and try and set up such a beautiful interaction with me and that model or the, me and the, uh, with the model and the other model. And I'll never recreate someone getting asked to be married and the other person saying yes. There's no recreation of that. There's no, there's no way I can recapture that emotion, you know? So I like that moment. That moment. I've got, I, I have to continue to, you know, find grace in, you know, the things that are outside of what I like, I deem is my per because I love the fact that I make music. I love, but I can't help the fact that I create in so many other forms. Bro, you make a living off of love, bro. That shit is spooky to me sometimes because I'm like, this is perfect. Because like, first of all, favorite favorite genre of movie is romantic comedy, and I'm mm. never gonna act like it's not. Mm. I love seeing a oh they fell in love, oh he lost her, mm. oh he goes and gets her back, I, like. I be crying. I don't be. I'm yeah. not even pressed about like letting Bang that be known. That shit. Not I be right word. Because <laughs> you, bro, it, it, it's is it, is parts and elements of you that that connects with that shit in so many different ways, bro. Like you just you, you it's unexplained. It's, like you it's, can't. And that's why, you, like again, being a part of art, is, there's no better there's no, <laughs> it's something the, that can bring the emotion bliss, out of people. The like bliss, the, the the bliss is just you can live in it. Yes, 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 yes. Like yes you can yes. live in the bliss. Like, you, and, it's, and there's no ending. There's no, you can, like, start late, leave early. You can leave early, start late. Like, you, mm. there's no, you know, mm. there's it's no ending to it. And I think that's the beauty of it. Like, there's no, there's no caps anywhere. You, you never know what you're bound to see. Wow. And where it can come from. Yes, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Excellent conversation. We're going crazy. Yeah. Last and final question, because I know we we we've got a good chunk of information yeah. conversation. I want to go to this last question. If you had one chance to motivate the next creator to get up and start their journey, what would you tell them? Um. I heard this the other day and it resonated with me. So I hope it resonates with you. Um, we're constantly watching things that amazes us. And those things are, are making history. You should go make the history instead of watching. Yeah, that's, that, that was it. Start making the history, make the history instead of watching. I wanted to stay nice and quiet as long as I could to make sure that the clip, because that's a clip, so I'm gonna make sure that clip is nice and round and make yeah. sure that there's no Mac making any noises. It's just you hear that beautiful goddamn quote and you got, because I'm gonna make sure y'all hear that one. I'm gonna make sure y'all see that because y'all need to hear that. What? Live the history, yeah. don't watch it. Oh my God. We're gonna close out. I am so grateful for this episode. I. R for Artists took a very long break that I did not want, but scheduling the next artist was a bit of a challenge. And this beautiful person came into my life once again to bring us back and get us back on track. And I want to make sure that you tap them into everywhere they can find you on social media. Um, so Larice King, uh, L A R E S E King K I N G. Um, yeah, it's you, you, it's no way you can miss it. I'm and nobody else has that name really. Uh, well, actually, it is, but my name is outshining theirs. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> shout out to you guys with, with my name. So, um, but no, um, uh, thank you, D, like for having me, like bro, bro. like deals, like bro, like it's it's been a long time coming. It's a um, energy was this this was supposed to happen. Um, it felt natural. Like, I, I wish y'all could see the view. That's why some of these questions were coming at me so easy. Like, if you want to know why, because I, I got a lot of space to think out to where I'm, I'm looking at right now. But, um, yeah, man, this is, this is, this is beautiful, man. Continue. And I can't wait to see like you blossom into the person that you want to be. Um, and it's going to happen. Um, but yeah, just, yeah, bro, don't, don't give up. We had a great conversation before this. 
in this great conversation. While I was like, man, we should have the podcast before the podcast, but this it just got even better. Yeah. So yeah. uh yeah, uh thank you so much, man. Much love to you. Always, bro. Thank I you, appreciate bro. you thank for coming you. up, thank bro. You. And we're out. <sighs>